Okay, so we're going to start off with some uh, addition using a column. The first step is to make sure when you've got your question, you are lining up your digits accurately and making sure they are using them in the same columns to making sure that then when you're doing your addition steps, it's all going to work out in the correct way. So we're going to start off by using the nine and the four and adding the uh, units together. So what you've got there then is you've got 13. So you'd put your three in and you'd make sure you exchange your one over into your next column. The next part is now using your seven and your four and then looking at the one you've exchanged over. So you've got seven and four, which is 11, and you add another one to it, which makes 12. So your two will go there, your one will go underneath. You always make sure that your exchanging is done underneath. So then you've got six plus three, which is nine. You add one to it, which is 10. So this time you'll put a zero underneath the answer column and exchange into your next column. And now you look at your next digits, so you've got your 5 and your 8, which is 13. Add your 1, which is going to be 14. So you put your 4 in and then exchange your 1 over to the other side. And then you've got your 2, your 1, and your final 1, which is going to make 4. So you get to your final answer of 44,023. Just be a bit more careful if you've got um, a decimal number to do the addition steps with, because you need to make sure that the decimal is lined up. And my first tip would be to put your decimal point in in your answer column so you know exactly where it needs to go then it's the exact same steps looking at the two uh, digits together and then adding them and then putting the answer in so you've got two and seven there which makes that your nine and put that answer in then you've got your six and your four which is a ten don't be confused with this one watch where the exchanging goes so you've got six and four which is a ten there you put your zero in. Now, obviously, because you've got your decimal point in this box here, you can't put it under there anymore. So put it straight under where your units would be. And then that way, you can then do the next addition step. So you've got three, you've got two, and you've got one, which makes six. So you put that in, and it gives you the answer of 6.09. Remember to make sure you're lining things up properly so you can add them all together, and then you should be able to be this nice and successful.